This problem is following up on the type of problem that we were looking at yesterday for the first time with one of these kite problems. And again, we want to start by drawing a picture and then labeling that picture with everything that we know here. So let's go and take those numbers from the original problem and put those into our picture. And we are reeling in three feet of string every second. So that means that this length of string is what's going to be decreasing at that rate of three feet per second. All right, so now we got labeled, now we gotta start figuring out what else we can figure out here. So we wanna know how quickly the kite shadow is moving along the ground. So that's gonna be this length. Now we can get into all sorts of little details about you know, where's the sun and all of that. But the rate at which it's changing because the sun is so far away isn't gonna change based on the exact position of the sun. So the kite's still gonna be moving at the same speed. So you could also think of it as the kite speed relative to land as well, it'd be the same idea. All right, now that means that I wanna be figuring out this distance right here. And specifically how quickly that distance is changing. So that'd be like DD over DT, since I called it D. Now again, you can give these different names. And I'm gonna give the other lengths names in my little right triangle there as well. So I'm gonna call 80 the height and the string length, I'm going to call that L for the length there. All right, now we set up an equation. And yes, we can go ahead and say, let's say the sun is straight above. That would make it a right triangle. That's the simplest situation we could consider. So we're going to go with that there. That means that we can do Pythagorean theorem. And once we know it's Pythagorean theorem, then we pretty much have the idea about how to do it. Because we've already seen a few Pythagorean theorem type of problems come through. So we find our derivative with respect to T now. And then we can start plugging in values wherever we know them. Now, as I set this up, I left a couple blanks in there so that we can start filling them in. Now, first of all, notice I have not yet plugged in the three. So I need to go ahead and plug that three into the equation. But remember that that length is decreasing by three feet per second. And so for that reason, when I plug that in for the DL over DT right there, I'm going to be plugging it in then as a negative three because I'm wanting to show that it's reducing by that amount. All right, now uh, let's go back and fill out a couple of these other little blanks that I got in here. Uh, this one right here, the value of D, we do not know what D is, but we can find it. And again, we can do that by using Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and use Pythagorean theorem here, find out what D is. And so we find out that D is 60 by using Pythagorean theorem. So I then can take that and plug it in for my D value over here in the equation. Then the last thing we need to plug in here is the value of DH over DT. How quickly is the height of this kite changing? And this is the sort of thing that can throw us off if we aren't real careful about understanding the situation. Remember in this situation, we're trying to keep our kite 80 feet above the ground. That means that our height is not changing at all. Therefore, dh over dt is zero. Now that you've got that plugged in, now it's just a matter of solving it for dd over dt. And so we end up getting here that dd over dt equals negative five feet per second. Now the negative in this case, uh, this one actually kind of depends on some of those assumptions we made at the start. Remember I set it up as a right triangle. So assuming that the sun was directly overhead, and if that's the case, and the negative in this case would mean that this thing is moving in the negative direction at five feet per second, which in this case would mean it is moving towards us holding the kite, you know, holding the string at five feet per second. But in the bigger scope of things, we had done that as an assumption. If uh, we had had the shadow in a different situation, maybe the sun's in a different location, something like that, it is possible that, that wouldn't necessarily be moving toward us, it could actually be moving away from us depending on a few things. And so because of that, uh, I would really go ahead and say here that it is gonna be five feet per second is its speed because we don't necessarily have the positive negative defined. There's a few other little details when it comes to velocity. So like if I were giving this as an answer, I would say the kite is moving at five feet per second. 